So I'm going to make a movie that shows how I get the total harmonic distortion of an input frequency using my oscilloscope in conjunction with the 331A. As you can see, I'm testing with an input voltage at 1 volt RMS. That's 2.92 peak to peak. It's 30 kilohertz, and I have no load on this. This is a direct connection into it. This is what I'm testing at right now. So what I've done is obviously after I check that voltage, I, I, I set my set level for 100%. And that's already done right now. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip it over to distortion. And the blue is the uh, input from the frequency generator for the for the purpose of this. And the, the yellow is the output. There's a little phase shift there so you can see. So blue is the input and yellow is the output. And what I'm going to do is first I'm going to just tune it with the dial and bring it over down to 30. And as I do it, you can see the signal starts to null. So I use the uh, fine-tune so I get about as low as I can go. And that's fine right there. And then I start dropping it down 10 decibels at a time. And use the balance. Just like that. That's good enough. Bring it down again. Now I could see a pattern in the distortion. You can see some, some flat spots, and with that, I tune it with the fine tuning until I have a, a repeating pattern. So now I have a, a repeating pattern. You can see the notch on the bottom, and that tells me that I'm tuned pretty good. And then I'm going to bring it down another notch, and it looks like that tuned pattern is still good. I'll bring in the balance. That looks as good as we're going to get there. Bring it down another notch. At this point, I'll turn it up on the scope so I can see what I'm looking at. Now you can see at this resolution is just a little bit more fine tuning to be done. I'm going to do that now. Very delicate. Oh, going past it. There you go. That's pretty well tuned. And now I'll check the balance again. And then bring it down. So the last one, I'll lower it at this point here so you can see it on the scope. And that's pretty much well in balance and about as low as it can go. So we're reading uh, 0.155 total harmonic distortion. So that's how you do it using the oscilloscope on the output as well as an oscilloscope on the input. Gives you your RMS. At the time the meter was made, obviously, you could check the RMS from the meter with the voltmeter there. I get a, a specific reading. I do check the voltmeter. It is calibrated and matches up to the readings that I would find in the oscilloscope. But that's how it's done. Thanks for watching.